Hey everybody, Rick Needham from a variety of tracks on Saturday afternoon, April the 5th. Uh, we're in the Kentucky Derby prep season and we have some major stake races on tap today. Let's go to uh, Gulfstream Park first. Race number 8, 4.42 p.m. Eastern post time for the Pan American Handicap. 12 furlongs on the turf, grade 3, 4 year olds and up race for $150,000. Contenders number 4, Fracas, number 6, Dave, number 1, Drilling for Royal, and number 5, Interpretation. The Irish bred number 4, Fracas, takes the class drop to enter the stakes affair, has been a power run performer in each of his last five, hitting the board in four of those adventures including back-to-back -back power run wins in his fourth and fifth races back. Number six, Dave, has turned in power run performances in three straight, including a power run win in his third race back. He'll be feeling that Lasix lift for the second time today. Race eight summary, number four, Frock, is tops my contenders list, which also includes number six, Dave, number one, Drilling for Oil, and number five, Interpretation. That's 4615 and the $150,000 Pan American Handicap here at Gulfstream Park. Let's go to uh, Illinois next. Race 7 at Hawthorne, 4.30 p.m. Central Post for the Illinois Derby. Nine furlongs on the dirt, grade two, three-year-olds. Race for a half-a-million-dollar purse. Contenders number five, Dennis of Cork. Number three, Z Humor. Number four, Atoned. And number seven, Real Appeal. Well, folks, I received an email this morning from my friend in California, Mr. Loring D. Martini, the owner of Van Van's Restaurant in Belmont, California, which overlooks not only San... Francisco Bay, but probably more importantly, uh, Bay Meadows Racetrack in San Mateo. He's, by the way, the, the purveyor of the best primer I've ever tasted in my life, and he was touting the possibilities of number five, Dennis of Cork, to win this race today. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to agree with him, at least on this race. He thinks he's going to, that, Lauren thinks he's going to win the Kentucky Derby. Dennis of Cork is undefeated in a three race career to date, winning twice in power run fashion. Number three, Z Humor, has posted a trio of power runs in his last five starts, including a power run win facing slightly better company in his third race back. Race seven summary, number five, Dennis of Cork, tops the contenders list, which also includes number three, Z Humor, number four, Atoned, and number seven, Real Appeal. Five three four seven and a half million dollar Illinois Derby at Hawthorne. Let's go to Keeneland next. Uh, race number nine at four fifteen p.m. Eastern Post Time. The Ashland Stakes, eight and a half furlongs on the cushion track. Grade one three year old fillies race for a stakes purse of five hundred thousand dollars. Contenders number five, Proud Spell. Number six, Country Star. Number one, Absolutely Cindy. And number four, B Harps of Sonata. Number five, Proud Spell, takes a slight class drop to enter this grade one affair this afternoon, is the overall speed leader in the stakes field. Racing at her about today's distance of eight and a half furlongs on the cushion dirt. She's hit the board in five straight. This recent streak of racing consistency also includes a trio of circle trips. Jockey Gabriel Saiz was in her irons for each of those five board hit races. And they came at Delaware Park, Monmouth Park, and the fairgrounds in New Orleans. The well-traveled Saiz is here in Kentucky today for his sixth ride. Number six, Country Star, is the pace profile leader, has hit the board in each of her three career starts to date, winning twice, including a power run win her last time out. Race nine summary, number five, Proud Spell, tops my contenders list, which also includes number six, Country Star, number one, Absolutely Cindy, and number four, B Harp Sonata. That's 5614 in the ninth from Keeneland, the $500,000 Ashland Stakes. So from a variety of tracks on a Saturday afternoon, Rick Needham for the Equibase Winter Circle and YouTube and our buddies at dayatthetrack.com reminding you as always to please bet with your head not over it.